Hello, students. Today we're going to talk about a book talk. I know Mr. Conger in the past has explained to you what a book talk is and has taught you the four parts to a book talk. I'm going to review that and then I'm going to give a very special book talk of my own. Here we go. There are four parts to a book talk. The first part is an opening. This should be a hook. This should get the, um, the listener interested in continuing to listen. The second part is a summary. This is just a few sentences, sentences explaining basically what the book's about, but please do not give away the ending. The third part is your opinion or your recommendation. You could do it a couple ways. You could rate it on a scale of one to 10. You could say what type of person would be who you would recommend that book to. Um, and then the fourth part is the closing. The closing just wraps it up and leaves the listener uh, wanting to read the book, hopefully. Okay, so knowing that there's four parts to this book talk, please listen to my book talk and try to um, identify, and they, they will be in order, the opening, the summary, the opinion, and the closing. Okay, here we go. Here's my book talk on Camilla's New Hairdo by Trisha Tusa. <clears throat> Do you have hair on your head? Well, even if you're bald, like my husband, you are still going to enjoy Camilla's New Hairdo, written by Trisha Tusa. Camilla's New Hairdo is a book about a woman who lives in a tower with no door. She spends her days creating masterpieces with her very long hair. She looks out the window, of her tower and she gets inspired by what she sees. If she sees a mountain outside her tower, she creates her hair to look like a mountain. If she sees an airplane flying by, she forms her hairdo to look like an airplane. She's very creative that way. Camilla is visited by a young girl named Moselle who also has long, beautiful hair. Camilla and Moselle spend the afternoon together creating different hairdos. The final hairdo that they create together is a game changer. They create a parachute out of Camilla's hair, which sends her and Moselle on an adventure outside the tower. And I'm going to show the picture of the parachute. So this book is very special to me. As you all know, I have two children of my very own. When they were younger, um, we would spend a lot of time creating um, different hairstyles for each of them. We even challenged ourselves to see how many hairstyles, how many different unique hairstyles we could come up with. This book brings back a lot of memories about those enjoyable times with my own children. This is a children's book, but even as an adult, I enjoyed reading it again. I recommend Camilla's New Hairdo for anyone who wants a quick read with illustrations that will make you stop and say, how'd she do that? In conclusion, Camilla's New Hairdo is a short, creative children's book that is worth the very few short minutes that it will take to read. It might even inspire you to create new hairdo masterpieces for yourself and your friends, those with hair at least. Okay guys, that was my book talk. And now I encourage you to do a book talk, talk on any book of your choice and uh, share it with us at our next Zoom meeting. Bye.